Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here in Jodborg and to present you the first sh short-term result of the French Vigimesh reg registry on a serious complication of pelvic floor repair. <clears throat> um, I have nothing to declare. Um, there is a lot of concern by women, surgeon, health authority about mesh-related complication. And this is the point uh, where the reason where we uh, were found by the um, French National Medicine Agency for uh, um, to create a registry to evaluate serious complication of pelvic floor surgery, including pelvic organ prolapse with or without mesh and stress urinary incontinence. Mm -hmm. This is a way or, uh, we collect the information. Um, the information is, is collected by um, in 13 hospital referral hosp uh, center for prolapse surgery in France. And we use a standardized forms to collect the index surgery. And then we follow patient and all participants have to declare the complication with a specialized standardized form. We also cross-check the data with using the, the medical information system database. Um, you see here the, the result. We include 1,873 uh, 1, surgery, resulting in um, 52 short-term complication, which make an overall rate of complication of 2.8%. Uh, when you, you see, you can see, sorry, you can see on the, on the graph, this is a um, cumulative rate of complication, that about 1% um, complication occur after, after laparoscopy with mesh, about less than 2% occur with, after uh, native, vaginal native tissue repair, about uh, less than 3% occur after um, mesh, transvaginal mesh, and 3.5% after mid urethral sling. And this is uh, the interesting result that with uh, combining both um, mesh procedures, uh, combining mus, mid urethral sling, plus prolapse procedure, you re will result in an overall set. 7% rate of complication. Among these complication, about half, half of them result in removal in part of totally of the mesh. In conclusion, we find a low rate of short-term complication, but a significant number of serious complications are mesh-related, including mid urethral sling. Laparoscopic approach and vaginal approach with native tissue repair seems to have the lowest rate of complication. Of course, we need to enlarge the risk history to get and to get longer follow-up. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. The paper now open for questions. If I may, um, leading on from Dr. Ganeshan's suggestion, are you then going to feed back these data? to operating surgeons to allow continuous quality improvement? Yes. Uh, and what, when will that start? Feedback data? You mean to the surgeon? To the surgeons, all oh, the institutions. Oh, already okay. uh, had the feedback. So they know exactly what happened. We, we, we have discussion with the surgeon. Okay. We are going to enlarge uh, the registry with new surgeon. Yeah. So if I might ask then, how has your discussion with the individual surgeons gone down? You could imagine that some might find what you have to say quite threatening in certain circumstances. Um, I, I don't understand. So, well, um, there's Sorry. often been concern around feedback to individuals about their own performance, where it is identifiable, um, ha having an adverse impact on their practice. Oh, I, I, I think there is a group of surgeons who know their self. 
this, this was a group mainly uh, this group was already uh, have, have already worked together for the clinical trial of first pair so we know as well each other so and each surgeon declare the, each uh, own complication so uh, we have a, an approach with open with complication it's normal to have complication and we should declare it i think it's it's um, no one, uh, I think that no one wants to, to uh, uh, mask his, his own complication. Okay. Uh, commendable, thank you. Any other questions? Yes, Jerry. You excluded, if I read your abstract right, you excluded recurrent stress incontinence, and, but there were a number of, of, of patients in whom the, uh, you took down the sling, and we know the incidence of recurrent stress incontinence varies from 20 to 60%. So I have two questions. One, why did you exclude that? And two, why didn't you capture pain, which is the second commonest cause, <clears throat> I think, of mesh removal? Those are, to me, two important complications that we should be following. Okay. Uh, the question about excluding um, um, recurrence is a question uh, always the same. When you exclude it, you... You, uh, you asked me to, to take it part, and when you don't exclude it, someone say it's not a complication. In, in our opinion, we just want to say about complication, and recurrence may not be perceived by patient as a complication, but it doesn't work. So we, sh we, choose. It's, it, we choose to exclude them. But you're right, we, we should analyze this also, and it would be done uh, next. Um, the, the second question <clears throat> is about pain. We didn't exclude pain. You will see in the next uh, presentation, in a few minutes, that we, we collect also the detail of all serious complications we had, and pain is a, a leading cause of reoperation after a prolapse or stress incontinence uh, a surgery. So uh, we, we, this is a big problem. Pain is a real big problem, and it might appear uh, not in the short term, but in medium term. You will see soon. Excuse me. Um, Ivan Ashan again. Um, if you only do a mid urethral sling procedures, there's a low rate of complications. And if you do native tissue surgery for prolapse, there's a low rate of, of, of complications. But then if you do mid urethral slings together with a prolapse operation, um, na with native tissue surgery, you have a very high, a pretty high rate of, of complications. What were those complica serious complications specifically? The, mostly they were uh, because of the mid urethral sling. This is a big problem that Whatever the, the prolapse surgery you do, if you had a mid retral sling, you increase greatly the rate of complication. It, it's our result. Yes, but and, and spe specifically, what I, specifically, what were those serious complications? Uh, mostly voiding dysfunction. Mostly voiding dysfunction. And, and consequence. 